The idea? Bring 300 of the best skydivers together in an attempt to create the world's largest freefall formation. The place? Annapa, Russia. The dream? To fly. With the, this type of aircraft, they're really only available here in Russia. You know, the cooperation you get from the government, you, I don't think you get that very, very much in the Western world. So you, we need to come here for the type of aircraft we need and the cooperation we need from government officials and just basically to get this kind of stuff done. It's a big, big job. It took four Mi-26 Russian helicopters to transport all 300 skydivers. And to capture this incredible event, it will take an accomplished team of skilled cinematographers. My slot on the 300 way is to exit one of the aircraft and I follow the, the divers down to the formation on level. As soon as the formation is beginning to settle and the last people are starting to pass me to join the formation, I transition from a relative position onto my back and I go down under the formation and I frame the formation from below, looking up. And that's my slot. With a world record this size, we're going to such great numbers here that it's important that we get the world record, but the break off and getting everybody out of this formation safely is one of the key elements. If someone gets on different levels at pull time and they don't see someone else that might be above them when they pull their parachute out, you've got a collision impact of 180 miles an hour. And that is very, very critical that we get everybody the separation that they need so that they can pull safely. Not only do you have to have great skydivers, but you have to be able to go high enough for the great skydivers to get together. And of course, if you go high, you run into the problems of lack of oxygen. So in order to be able to safely do it, you have to build a system that will allow the jumpers to be adequately oxygenated and still go up to the current ceiling that we're working with at 22,000 feet. After many practice jumps and near misses, the international skydiving team has one more chance to set the world record. We're one jump away right now. We can do it. We've seen it. We know we can do it. That last one was a good hit. Let's go up and do it right. people out there is not to wander left and right. You don't want to wish wash around. You need to be right in line with the place you have to dock on. There's so many people that you have to have these radiating lines that come out and you need to fly right down that line straight into the formation. Otherwise you get in other people's way. So you can't you can't move left and right. You really need to be in position right away and knowing where that's going to be in relation to the base and, and stick there and be able to fly right down that line as same as the people in front of you and the people behind you so you don't get in other people's lines away and just move right in there. Timing and teamwork, these international extremists accomplished the impossible, a new world record.